Now here's a radio that really, really piqued my interest in the barter. Uh, the video doesn't do this justice. It's a pretty big radio. It's over, it's close to two feet wide. And it's definitely a foot high. And it has uh, this tuning eye. And really neat way how it lights up. This bar indicates whether you're on shortwave, phono, or BC. I think that's uh, broadcast band. So it's the general shortwave. Let me see. The sun is shining through the window here. The general standard broadcast radio. Sadly, an emblem of some sort or whatever that was is missing. A badge, I guess. It has a speaker and I guess a tweeter. Um, it's, uh, I had to back off. I had to look at the back of this. And it looks like it's all totally original. And the beauty of it all, it works. It actually works. So I'm going to be, this is probably going to be one of the radios that I'll probably pick out of the pile and do a kind of an overview on. It has, um, it's made of wood, <clears throat> so I mean, you know, if they, if somebody wanted to, such as myself, wanted to take this and redo it, I'm going to leave it as is. It's you know, it's in original condition, uh, you know, obviously in good use condition. Yeah, uh, very impressed with that. I think that's going to be a radio that I might want to display somewhere someday. Next to that is an AM/FM radio made by. Lloyd's. And it's got kind of like a that 70s grill cloth thing going on here. Uh, so, you know, just basic same old uh, it's a plastic case. Looks like wood, but it's actually plastic, but I don't think it's bake light, so that's why I never went, to, went into the bake light um, into the bake light collection there. Uh, so yeah, it's a AM, FM and AFC. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oops, eh? I'm getting drops, eh? Okay, the next is the, uh, some receivers here. Uh, and I'm happy to announce, uh, according to this, I am now the proud owner of a Heathkit radio. This is probably, as best I can remember, uh, the first Heathkit receiver or piece of equipment that I've ever owned. And uh, it's Heathkit, um, does 10, 15, 20, 40, and 80 meter. And uh, so not exactly, well, I have a pretty good idea how it works, but, you know, it works. And uh, I've had it turned on, but obviously, you know, I need to do some more testing on it. Now, um, when I was younger, I owned a Helicrafter, Helicrafter's radio. It was a bit heavier and a bit bigger than this one um, but anyway uh, that was my first actual shortwave uh, radio uh, I went away to I think it was Calgary at the time for uh, further study uh, to take some training and uh, when I came back I guess the, the radio I just completely forgot about it and when I went to a local look for it years later it was gone so I'd say it was tossed out because it was like a boat anger so now I have a helicopter's uh, shortwave radio once again Hopefully I'll be able to hang on to this one maybe for a while. And next to that one is a, uh, this is called a Starlight. I haven't done a whole lot of research on most of these radios. But this is also multi-band, AM, uh, and three bands of shortwave here. Uh, pretty neat little radio actually. I'm just, uh, like I say, you're pretty well getting the information as I have been getting it. Uh, you know, I've had a glance at some of the stuff. Some of the stuff has caught my eye. It's the A120, and uh, just to give you an idea, uh, yeah, it's cool how they got the everything listed on the on the dial face here. Police, uh, Alaska, Iceland, down on the bottom, Canada. Yeah, cool. That's neat. Anyway, that's uh, it's called a Starlight, and uh, of course the, the old tried and true faithful uh, DX100, I believe this is comes with the uh, with the uh, manual and uh, all these things like I plugged I plugged everything in to, to try it and uh, everything works um, so anyway uh, the realistic DX100 um, I guess that's probably one of the first 
first DX radios that uh, Realistic put out, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, just to move on, I just want to show you these newer ones here that uh, uh, everybody might be familiar with. It's the uh, Realistic uh, Patrolman Shortwave 60. Of course, this all works. Um, but that's pretty familiar. I think that's 1990s maybe, or maybe 1980s, I'm sure. Little oddball here um, in a leather case. Um, it is uh, Heathkit. Yeah, cool. I didn't notice that before. That's it. That's another Heathkit radio. Six transistor. Tra no, sorry. Six transistor. No, transistor. Yep. Uh, I guess it's just an AM radio. It could be multiband. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, an old leather case radio. Cool. <clears throat> Uh, that was uh, my flashlight drop, by the way. It wasn't the radio, thank God. Yeah, I had it. It's a magnetic base uh, antenna uh, flashlight, and I had it on the base of my stand here, and it fell off. So it wasn't a radio, folks. Thank the Lord. Anyway, here is uh, the only radio transceiver, I guess you'd say, you know, transmit receive radio that I got. It's the uh, Cobra 135. It is. Um, SSB and AM only 23 channel but the beautiful thing about it is and I don't know maybe some of you are out to lunch on not out to lunch that would be a nice thing to say to you would it out on uh, like a, as a jury on these flip radios but I, I, I've, I had one years ago and I, I don't have anything in my collection that has this radio and uh, this clock into it so I'm happy to have a radio now that has this um, flip clock thing and it works the radio actually works 100 percent um so that's the deal i got a several cobra radios you know what I, and uh yeah so this adds a collection i certainly didn't have this am sideband cool 22 channel kind of thinking it would be cool if it was 40 but i guess the 22 channel is even older so that makes it perhaps more collectible and uh the original mic what i believe looks to be uh, the original mic and uh, the beautiful thing is like I say it's uh, it's in working order okay here we have the uh, Bakelite uh, radios that were in the barter um, there's five that I can tell I'm, I'm not exactly sure if all these radios are actually made of the Bakelite material but uh, it appears to be all consistent with uh, Bakelite this is a Zenith uh, AM radio, uh, all in working condition, best I can tell. Uh, this one is a General Electric. This one is a Philips with a peculiar V. And uh, select selector dial, it says here. And uh, this one is a Rogers Majestic uh, Marine Band and Broadcast. There looks like three. If I can keep it in the camera here. Broadcast Marine, but there's another band inside, and I don't know what that might be. But anyway, that's the Rogers Majestic. I've never seen a, an item like that before, but. Anyway, <clears throat> and uh, last, and possibly the least, because there's a button missing. Well, they're all, you know, not in new condition, of course, but uh, I noticed there's a button missing here. This is a Crosley. Uh, as you can see right there on the dial, it's the only thing I can see. I can show you the back later, but, you know, I'm going to be doing videos individually on these radios as per uh, the interest on on YouTube. We'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, there might be some radios that some people may want to uh, have a look at on the inside. And as time permits, I'll do that. So that's the, that's the Bakelite and that came with this barter. I'm hoping this is going to be of some interest uh, to a lot of people on uh, YouTube. Um, I don't have a whole lot in the lines of camera equipment. But here, as you can see, is uh, a few items that uh, came in the barter deal. Um, it's just a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, 
cameras or video cameras. Um, we have a Bell and Howell, Howell here. Um, I think that's an 8mm. Um, with box and manual complete. You know, in, in decent shape. Uh, we have a Kodak Extra Light 10. I remember these cameras. Uh, probably not this individual one. Complete in box. Uh, we have a Kodak Instamatic M2 with the manual and uh, complete in the original box. This is a uh, white. It actually works. It's really bright too. I think I might use it even though it, you know this gets pretty hot. It's the older type uh, bulb. It's not LED for sure. Uh, that's the Instamatic movie light they call it. Complete in box. And uh, we have a Brownie Hawkeye made by Kodak. This is all Kodak. Somebody must have been a very big fan of Kodak. Obviously with all the bulb uh, the bulbs that you could have I guess they're all been used and the, the flash component. Uh, complete in box. I don't see any instructions with these. but uh, <clears throat> And then there's another one which is uh, the same. Uh, it's the flash model I guess. And it has a smaller uh, mini flash that goes with this one, I guess. But uh, yeah, pretty neat uh, camera stuff. So I'm, you know, uh, with regard to all this video, I'm hoping that people, if they see something that speaks their interest, that they make a comment, and uh, you know, so that uh, uh, we can uh, learn more. Uh, also, that what came with um, is the extra boxes there that uh, can't fit on the table. This here is. Um, uh, Rhinox. I'll zoom in. Maybe somebody might recognize this. I mean, obviously it's uh, for splicing video or actually viewing it. I guess doing editing or something. Perhaps I'm not sure. You know, but uh, there's little winding, winding things in the back, and of course it works. Uh, it's upside down. I know, folks, but for those of you who want to know, RS three thousand. Uh, so you know it's uh, pretty neat. It's cool. And um, last but not least, I think I got everything covered. Is a uh, in relation to everything else, uh, we have a Kodak Movie Projector M67, uh, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Insomatic M67. There's the information there. To I've only used these a few times in school, and that was back in the 1980s, so um, this year I think is probably a bit older. Uh, yeah, uh, I haven't plugged this in, but I, but I will. Pretty interesting, I didn't, uh, the cord is there, just wrapped up on the back. So yeah, that's, that's pretty well, uh, I think, everything that came in the barter. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... Uh, like I say, uh, please comment on anything that you see, uh, anything that piques your interest, especially uh, something that you may be able to share information on would be most appreciated. Thank you.